All right, you guys, welcome back to another video. Everybody is making their end of the year videos, whether it's like perfect gifts or whatever. Anyway, uh, as you guys know, I am not here to try to sell you guys anything, but I did want to do my own kind of end of the year video. And what I want to do is I want to talk about my five best lenses that I used this year. And so we're not going to waste a lot of time with this. We're going to get right into it with lens coming in the fifth place. And that lens is the Sony 24 to 70 G Master version two. I'm going to tell you three things I like about these lenses and one thing that I don't like about them. So here we go. The first thing that I love about this lens is I love the size and weight. It is small. It is compact. We are realizing the dream of mirrorless cameras. And you guys all know that I carry around this A7C and just having a small compact 24 to 70 that I can use on this camera to just go around and shoot with, man, that 24 to 70 was fantastic. Uh, the second thing that I love about it, of course, it's sharp. It's a great piece of glass. We don't need to get that much into it. The third thing that I love about it is that it has an aperture ring on it. And here's why that becomes important. Let's go back to the A7C. You guys have heard me talk about it a lot. It doesn't have an aperture dial on the front of it. And so having an aperture ring on a lens is just a game changer. Here's the one thing I don't like about it. It's the price. You guys knew that was coming. It's 22 or $2,300. That's a lot of money for a lens. It's a lot of money for a 24 to 70, especially when there are a lot of other good options. Uh, hell, you can get the Tamron 28 to 75 version two right now for like $750. So paying 23, $2,200 is just hard to swallow. Coming in at number four, we have the Tamron 35 to 150. Listen, it is incredibly versatile. 35, 50, 85, 105, 135, all of that in one lens, it is amazing. Secondly, it is incredible value. That lens is only $1,800. And when you think about its counterpart, which is I am stacking it against the 70 to 200 G Master, uh, which is $2,800 or $2,600 or some insane price, uh, you, you realize the value. And then again, you don't really lose out a lot on your end goal, right? If we're talking about just getting to the end goal, which is just having a beautiful photo that you were able to make because you had a beautiful piece of glass, 70, I'm sorry, the Tamron 35 to uh, 150 is just amazing. The one, the one bad thing about it, the one downside to that lens is that it is so incredibly heavy. It is a heavy, heavy piece of glass. And if you are using that glass to shoot weddings or events or whatever it is, you are going to feel it at the end of the day. There's no way around it. It is a heavy piece of glass. Coming in at number three is the RF 50 millimeter 1.2. That's right. I threw you guys a curveball. It is a Canon lens. I rented the Canon uh, R3 one weekend. Uh, if you guys want to see my uh, my thoughts on that, let me know. I made it. I recorded it. I didn't upload it. I just, I don't know if I wanted to deal with the Canon fanboys. But anyway, uh, this lens was beautiful. It was a beautiful piece of glass. The bokeh was so beautiful. It was sharp. It is just incredibly beautiful. Uh, that one thing that they didn't like about it is that it is expensive. Uh, and so I know that you guys might be saying like, hey, Jamil, it's not that much more expensive than the 50 millimeter that you have. That is correct. The 50 millimeter that I had, that I have, is an expensive piece of glass. It was something that I had to really, really think hard about. And the fact that it's more expensive than that is really, it's really a sore point for me, especially considering 
that uh, that that Canon's not letting any third party makers make any lenses. So there's not a lot of budget options out there. I guess you can get the RF uh, 50 millimeter 1.8, but I don't know. I don't know. Moving on. These last two are like neck and neck, right? It's like, it's like Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. You know what I mean? Like some days I'll say one of them's number one. Another day I'll say the other one's number one, but coming in at number two, surprise, surprise, is my beloved 50 millimeter uh, 1.2 G Master. Listen, it is the perfect size. It is the perfect build. Uh, even at the price that it is, I still feel like you're getting the very best lens and to be able to get it at the price that it is. And even if you can find it, if you can find it used, I say, go for it. I'm speaking directly to you, Devin. If you're watching this, go get a 50 millimeter. Anyway, the thing that I don't like about it, honestly, is absolutely zero. There's nothing that I don't like about the lens. It might be the perfect Sony lens. Um, it might be the perfect lens. I'm recording with it right now. And so if you guys are liking the colors, I got the Christmas lights changing in the background. I was feeling festive uh, today. So if you guys like what's going on, you guys like what you're seeing here. I actually record most of my videos with the 50 millimeter. I'm throwing some photos up. You guys see it, it's beautiful. Oh, by the way, back to the Canon uh, 50 millimeter. Uh, my card corrupted in the R3. That's never happened to me before, except for when I used the Canon. Uh, so take that for what it's worth. But I lost all of the photos from that 50 millimeter and on that same card, I had the photos for this next lens, which is coming in at number one, which is the best lens that I used this year. It may be the best lens on the market today. And that is the RF 28 to 70 F2. Listen, when you talk about the engineering on that lens, a zoom lens that you have as an F2, um, it is remarkable. It is remarkable. It takes remarkable photos. It is just a great, great piece of glass. Um, it gives you, it gives you everything you need. If you're a fan of Boca, right? If you like what I got going on back here, that lens is going to suit you well. If you're someone who loves a 24 to 70 zoom lens, that lens is going to satisfy you. If you are someone who's looking for that first piece of glass and you're in a Canon RF system and you're saying to yourself, what can I, what can I buy to get the most out of my Canon? It is the 28 to 70 F2. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And I think that is not only just the best lens that I've used this year, but it might actually be, again, if you ask me in a week, it might be the 50, but right now I think the RF 28 to 70 F2 is the best lens on the market. I'll say that it does have a glaring, glaring, glaring uh, con. And like the 35 to 150, it is a heavy, heavy piece of glass. Especially considering that I rented it along with the R3. When you put those two together, it is a payload especially for someone like me who has fallen in love with street photography. It is just intrusive. It is the thing about being a street photographer for me, I can't speak for everybody, is that I, I try to be as invisible as I possibly can, especially when I'm pointing a camera at someone and making photos. I'm already like six, four and a half. I'm already like 280 pounds. So I'm a big dude. Um, I don't know that someone needs me, you know, walking up and then sticking this gigantic payload of a system in their face to make photos. If you've been here for a while, you just heard the furnace come on. So we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, so those are my five lenses, 24 to 70 version two, the 35 to 150, uh, by Tamron guys, if you have an EF and you're looking for, I'm sorry, if you have an e-mount and you're looking for a one lens system, that is the lens to buy 50 millimeter 1.2 RF, my baby, 
my main girl, the 50 millimeter 1.2 G Master, and then the 28 to 70 RF uh, F2. Those are the best lenses that I've used this year. This is how I'm gonna close out the year. I will see you guys in 2023. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I appreciate all of you. We hit 2000 this year. Let's keep it going. Uh, there's a furnace. I'll see you guys next year. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah to my Jewish friends. And whatever it is that you celebrate, whatever it is your holiday, whatever it is your holy day, may peace be with you. See you guys later. Peace.